what is the Bhagavad Gita perspective on the recently released Kartikeya 2 movie? Answer, Kartikeya 2 movie is an adventure thriller which centers on the premise that thousands of years ago, 5,000 years ago precisely, as mentioned in the movie, Krishna concealed a secret in an amulet. And that uh, story an archaeologist is trying to find and sh share with humanity because it is going to solve future problems of humanity. And Kartigan is the hero who is trying to find that. The movie has done very well in, in commercial terms, not just in Telugu, original language it was made in, but also in Hindi and other languages. So I'll talk three points about it. First is generating curiosity. Second is uh, pointing from the virtual to the spiritual. And third is that from, from, from imagination or mythology to history. So in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna states that there are various reasons why people approach him. And one of them is curiosity. Chaturvidha bhajan temam jana sukritano arjuna arto jigya suradharthi jnani cha bharatarishabha. Those in distress, those seeking wealth, those inquisitive, and those who are, who are seeking knowledge, seeking enlightenment, they all approach him. And all of them Krishna considers as good souls. Sukritina appreciates them. And as they evolve spiritually, they start understanding that Krishna is not just an object of enlightenment, object of curiosity, not just a source of solving problems or a source of fulfilling desires for wealth. He's actually the fulfillment of all our desires. Such a person, Krishna says, is not just a good soul, but a great soul, a Mahatma. And uh, we understand that, that God can give many blessings, but the greatest blessing he can give us is that he enriches our heart with his presence and his devotion. And that provides us enduring fulfillment. Now this journey from being a good soul to a great soul, from a, a Sukrutina to a Mahatma, can take a long, long time, many lifetimes. And anybody who begins that journey itself is auspicious. So this movie has definitely created a lot of curiosity about Krishna, about knowing more of, of the historicity of Krishna. And in that sense, it is a positive development. While for some, it may be a distraction from devotion for those who are at the level of seeing Krishna as the fulfillment of all their desires. It can, it can be a distraction from devotion. But for most people, it will be a distraction from distraction toward devotion. Means, uh, among all the uh, entertainment that is made, this is an entertainment which is directing people's thoughts and questions and imagination toward Krishna. So the generation of curiosity is a positive point. Uh, second point is that while Krishna talks about entertainment in general, he says yukta hara vihara si, yukta cheshta si karmasu. So entertainment and work, eating and sleeping, all these need to be done in moderation, regulation. And they should need to be done in a way that is yukta. Yukta can mean regulated, yukta can also mean connected. So whatever we do, we try to connect it with the spiritual. So we can broadly consider three levels of ex human experience or realities. There is the material reality, primarily the physical reality in which we function most of our time. And then when this reality becomes boring, we move toward the virtual reality. It is the movies, the novels, the dramas, and nowadays more and more virtual reality itself generated through artificial intelligence and advanced computing technologies. So now beyond these two, is the spiritual reality. So actually, the boredom that we experience in material reality, the discontent and distress that we experience is meant to impel us to rise towards spiritual reality. But not knowing about spiritual reality, not knowing that 
the all attract to divine who is the fulfillment of our hearts longings for love peace and joy is present at the spiritual level of reality where we can raise our consciousness we often turn away from the physical reality to the to a artificially created virtual reality and there we try to find entertainment so what krishna says is if the vihara is yukta if the entertainment is regulated and connected that means in the indian tradition there were dramas there were movies are recent in the indian but drama dramaturgy is a huge field and natya shastra is said to have a divine source and the entertainment provided through natya shastra was meant to be uplifting for human consciousness it talked about higher realities celestial and divine events were depicted through dramas and in that way the entertainment was connected it was uplifting people toward the higher level of reality toward raising thoughts toward higher consciousness so if the virtual instead of taking people away from the material and away from the spiritual the virtual can take people toward the spiritual then that so virtual comes over here the phys- the material or the physical the virtual and the spiritual so when this happens that is great that is how it was in the tradition and to some extent with more and more movies being made in india especially even the southern movie industry uh, which are depicting themes and motifs and images and stories from the indian tradition in a positive light the virtual is at least bringing krishna into the consciousness of people for whom there might be no consciousness of krishna at all many people many children in the younger generation who are not directly connected with uh, any devotion or spirituality through their families or through their extended uh, social circles they may never come to know anything about krishna at all or even about mahabharata and ramayana if it had not been through some form of entertainment depictions of these now when the virtual points to the spiritual then it is unlikely to be fully accurate it is unlikely to be fully complete so krishna may not be explained fully as the ultimate reality but the very fact that krishna has to first enter our gain entrance into a person's consciousness before krishna can entrance can enchant can captivate can reign over preside in the heart of a person's consciousness that is a fundamental principle so through the virtual through the entertainment industry if krishna is being brought into the consciousness of many many people that is again a positive development and as compared to movies like omg and especially like pk which were satirical critiques uh, on indian religion especially their vedic religion especially hinduism and blanket generalizations with poor logic and reasoning uh, so as compared to that movies like uh, kartikeya into are are a, are a very positive sign of development and the third point is that from non historical to historical since uh, european colonizers especially british colonizers came to india they try to systematically denigrate and downplay indian history uh, the our indian traditions indian indian religion indian spirituality and they were joined by the marxists who also were against religion so that's why most of indian most of the history of india is described in india's sacred texts like the puranas and the itihasas was dismissed simply as mythology now mythology can sometimes refer to just a story that has a significant impact on a particular society or a particular culture and its values and teachings uh, shape the minds and lives of people so in that sense the word mythology has a positive meaning but sometimes the word mythology also has a negative meaning that it's it's not real it's not historical it's just imaginary so much of the sacred icons and sacred stories from the indian tradition were relegated to the domain of mythology in the sense of non history just imagination 
but there is some significant research that has been done in the last few decades where at least krishna has more or less according to the mainstream academic consensus moved been moved from the domain of mythology to the domain of history so uh, professor rao who uh, who wrote a book called the lost city of dwarka found a significant amount of historical evidence uh, on while doing marine archaeology on the in the ocean of the coast of modern dwarka uh, which he which establishes the historicity that krishna was a historical reality krishna actually existed on the earth and much more research has been done since then and can be done also but the fact is that this study of history in order to establish that krishna is a historical entity uh, now of course krishna is not just a historical entity krishna is an eternal transcendental being who appears at a particular time in history that's the meaning of the word avatar but krishna's divinity cannot really be established by empirical means very easily that his god is difficult to establish but that he existed on the earth is definitely possible to establish and it it has been established and that that is a theme which has been brought in this movie so krishna's historicity is talked about implicitly and explicitly in the movie and that's positive again with respect to historicity there have been highly negative movies done by the movie industry especially attacking the catholic tradition there was movie da vinci code and we can appreciate that here this movie is portraying krishna in a positive light as a, as the divine being who whose divinity may not be fully explained in the movie and that's not to be expected we can't expect a movie to be a philosophy class uh, or even a devotional exposition on the precise understanding of divinity but it has played a significant role in pointing to the historicity of krishna and that is also a significant step forward and overall it is an encouraging sign that the indian both the indian movie industry is making movies which are depicting traditional indian motifs and depict them in positive light and that such movies are being widely appreciated and they are doing well commercially this can gradually contribute it is not just contributing to but it is also signifying a gradual rising in spiritual consciousness in india and those who are pursuing higher spiritual consciousness those who are already in spiritual higher spiritual consciousness can can see these as launching pads for spiritual discussions especially among new people when to create who already are curious this can pro, we can build on the movement toward higher consciousness that is created and provide pathways for further exploration and further elevation of consciousness for those who have whose curiosity has been triggered whose historical interest has been triggered thank you hare krishna